Hi. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can run your own private GPT like personal assistant on your device and without any internet. To prove that this can happen, I have disconnected my internet. So there is no Wi Fi. And I'm going to ask a question. I'll say, if today is 31st December, what's tomorrow? Let's see if that works. Oh, I need to select the model. So let me select, I'm running Llama 3. So interesting. So it says if today is 31st December, tomorrow would be January 1st. We can ask follow-up questions. And what after that? If then it'll be Jan 2nd. Great. So if you are interested in running your own private GPT-like assistant on your device and do not want any dependency on the internet, this video is for you. In the next few minutes, I will show you how you can get this up and running on your own machine. To start with, you need two things. First thing is Olama. Olama is a project that helps you download LLMs on your device and be able to interact with them locally. Now, in order to get started, the first thing is you need to download Olama. Now, once you click on download, there are options available for different operating systems. You need to download that first. In my case, I've already downloaded and started it. The way we can check is twofold. First, it appears on my menu bar at Mac. It says quit, which means it is running. The second way is I can go to the terminal and run Olama version. And this way I can see version available. Now this only installs Olama, but not the LLM. So how do you know which LLM to install? To find out, go back to the documentation and click on models. Now in this video, I'm going to look at Llama 3, which is my favorite and go-to model at this point in time. So you click on Llama 3 and you will see a page dedicated for Llama 3. Llama 3 is an open source model, open sourced by Facebook or company Meta behind it. And the way to install that is by running this command. Now keep in mind that Llama 3 comes in two different sizes. One is with the 8 billion parameters and the second one with 70 billion. And there is a huge difference between the sizes. The one with 8 billion parameters is only 4.7 gigs. So it's smaller, it's faster in its inference, and it takes less time to download as well. So what we are going to do next is to download this model. For that, click here, go back to the terminal, paste the command and hit enter. Now, Olama at this point in time is pulling the manifest and downloading the model to our own machine. And as you can see that it's taking some time and depending upon your internet speed, this may take a while to complete. So I will pause to save time in the video and come back once it is installed. So in my case, the download is almost there. Uh, it will take a couple of more seconds before the model is ready. All right, so it took some time, but now I have model up and running. It, it downloaded everything, it opened it up, it verified that the checksum is correct. And then it started the model prompt already because our command was Olama run. So let's try this, what's two plus 10. And the model is thinking and it says two plus 10 is 12. What we can do is to test that it works offline. I'll just take the internet away and then let's try again. What's 30 plus 11? And it says 41. And then what is tomorrow's date if today is December 30th? See, now it's working. So you have your personal assistant working offline for you and you're not paying a dime for it. Now, interacting with your model using command line could be cumbersome because you may have different threads and you want to do a conversation. So this is not the best experience. So I will show you what you can do next. For that, I will first start my internet again because we need to access a few of the other frameworks as well. So the next thing with that we need to do is we need to install Open Web UI. Open Web UI is as an open source MIT license based project that allows you to interact with LLMs in a similar fashion to how you interact with ChatGPT that you've used by the company called OpenAI. So 
In order to do that, we first need to go to their documentation. And the way to do that is if I come down here, they have open web UA documentation. I will click open in a new tab. So it opens up in docs.openwebua.com. We'll go to the getting started part. And on the right hand side, there is quick start with Docker. Now, I would say that you can install without Docker as well, but I always prefer to do it with Docker because the portability is always available. So if I'm changing the machine, if I'm going somewhere else, I can use the same commands and everything it will start to work. So if you don't have Docker installed, you can go to docker.com. And then here you can say, I think get started and you can download Docker desktop for your operating system. Now I have that up and running as well. If I click here, I see everything here working correctly. So the next thing that we need to do in order to get the chat GPT from OpenAI like experience is we are going to run this command. And the reason is because we already have Olama installed on our computer. Now you can also install Olama in Docker container, but what I found is when I was interacting with Olama inside Docker container, there was a lot of lag. It was not really using the GPUs on my device. And later I found out in Docker documentation that the GPU support in Docker desktop is only available on Windows. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not using Olama inside Docker and I'm using it directly on my machine because it is now able to leverage the G GPU that I have on the machine. A small trick, but it really makes a lot of difference when I'm interacting with the model. Now, I will take this command going back. We have Olama and we need to take this command. So let's take this command, go back to our terminal. I will do a command D to come out. I will clean the screen. I will paste the command that they've given me and I will run it. And all of a sudden, if you see it, gave us a long hash, which means it is starting. And the way we can find out if our container is running by running this command, which is Docker PS, which is show me all the Docker processes, but I'm filtering with the name open web UI. It's because I provided the name web UI here. So if I do enter, it's up and running and it's running on port 3000. So it, it runs on port 8080 inside container, but exposed on 3000 on my machine. In order to access that, I will go to Safari and I am going to do local host and I'm running it on local port 3000. Now, the first thing that you will see, it says that you are unauthorized and you need to create an account. This is how it, this project works currently, but all of this authentication is happening locally. None of your data is going outside. So what I'll do is I'll pause for a minute. I will enter the credentials that I have already. And then when I sign in, I will show you how it looks like in just a few seconds. All right. So it says now I'm logged in. It has all these threads on the left. I find I am logged in with my user account, but everything is working on my local host. To bring some more clarity, I will just close this sidebar so that we can interact this interface that I showed you in the start of the video. Now, what I also did while I was waiting for model to install that I also started installing the Llama 3 model with 70 billion parameters. And if I go back and say, Olama LS, let me just clean the screen. I have two models here. So I can pick any of the model when I'm interacting with open web UI. How do you know that open web UI is, is connecting to Olama? That is already in the command that I didn't show you before. It adds up a host and with which it creates a link for the open web UI container to our Olama running on our machine. Now, as I mentioned that I've already installed these two models. We'll go back to the open web UI. The first thing that you need to do, which is unlike if you have used ChatGPT by OpenAI, they have just one model that you are interacting with. Here you need to select a model. When I click on that, I have these two models listed here. They are exactly the same that I have listed here. I will put them side by side so that you can see. I have Llama 370B, Llama 370B, and Llama 3 Latest, Llama 3 Latest. So as you can see, there is a link between OpenWeb UI and, and our Olama models. Now, you're not restricted only to Llama 3. You can install any model that is available on Olama. Let me show you right here on Olama website. If you go back to models, they have a long list of models that you can use. So any model that you install using Llama 
would be available for you to interact with on OpenWebUI. But I'm only showing you what, what you can do with Llama 3, but feel free to experiment more. So I'll pick Llama 3 because the inference time is fast. And now I'm going to run the same commands that I ran on command line. So I'll say what, okay, what's 3 plus 13? And here we go. It says that's an easy one, it's 16. Now, does it work offline? So let's take my machine out of internet and then say, okay, okay, now a tricky one. What's 10 plus 34 plus blah, plus plus the plus five? Let's see what it has to say. Oh, nice. So what it did, it's, it's showing you the calculation one by one on how it calculated that. Now, that's pretty fantastic because it showed you all these steps. And the best thing is it's working completely offline. Now, one final question for it. What's today if... Yesterday was December, oh, January 1st, 2025. Interesting, let's see. It didn't say anything, see? Okay, so let's save and submit again and see what it says. It says yesterday was this, which means it would be Jan 2nd, 2025. Fantastic. So I think it calculated it pretty correctly. It's now, it also means that I can go back, which I did, didn't show you. You can click on edit and you can change your prompt. And I can say, what if, what if, what's today if tomorrow is. And then let's see, save and submit. Right update, it says tomorrow is this, this will be December 31st, 2024. Fantastic. So you can pretty much edit your prompt, save and submit, and it'll update the responses here. Now, there are multiple things that you can do, as you can see here. One thing that I found very interesting is if you click on I, it shows you the time taken during each of the steps that it's doing and how, what's the prompt count is and how much time it took. That's pretty fascinating that I haven't seen on chat GPT from OpenAI. So this is one difference that I really liked, but there are many more things that we can explore, but I will create separate smaller videos so that they're hyper-focused on one use case. And I'm hoping that this is useful. Let me just start my internet again. So I hope that this was useful. And if there are other questions, if you are interested in this kind of stuff, put a comment below on what questions you have or what things you would like to see. And I will create those videos and, and make sure that I post them and address your queries. All right, this is a great place to start experimenting with AI and LLM models locally without paying a dime. And Llama 3 is really a game changer because in my understanding, I've been using it a lot more than I use the free version of ChatGPT by OpenAI. Yep, uh, happy to share what I know and put down the comments below and let me know what you find interesting and what would you like to see in the next video. Thank you and I will see you again.